I'm sure you've seen these before. These lookup tables where you're supposed to determine the resonant frequency of your cartridge tone arm match. About those, I recommend you don't use them. Uh, they're actually based on some flawed assumptions that I'll go into partly in this video and in subsequent videos. The way you're told to use these is you're supposed to add up the total mass of your cartridge plus the hardware to mount the cartridge and the effective mass of your arm and then you determine what it, you find out from the cartridge specs what the compliance units are and then you use the lookup table to determine what the resonant frequency will be of that spring system. Well, the first challenge is that the manner in which cartridge manufacturers can take their measurement of what the compliance is of their cartridge, there are well, there are three different tests that I know of to do that, and they all result in different numbers. So in order to have a useful compliance figure, you have to know which of the three tests that use, and then use, depending on which test there it is, then use an adjustment factor to equalize the results across the three different types of measurement processes. <laughs> Most cartridge manufacturers don't even tell you which method that they used, so it's hard to know which adjustment factor to imply. Most people don't even know that there is this adjustment factor. And the differences are actually pretty big. Some of the adjustment factors are by more than a factor of two. So the usefulness of these tables I find somewhere close to zero. In order to find out the resonance of your cartridge tone arm match, you'd be much better served to use one of the test records that has the uh, resonance tests on them of that determine both on the horizontal and the vertical what the re resonance is of your cartridge tone arm system. I'll go more into this issue on subsequent soundbite videos, but for now, just put it in your head that uh, these lookup tables, they're really not worth much. Until next week on the next soundbite video, see you there.